Hi everyone, now if you're struggling to decide which 1.55 times anamorphic lens is right for your smartphone filmmaking, then this is the video for you. I'm gonna pit both of the top two smartphone filmmaking accessory companies in the world against each other, being B-Script versus Moments 1.55 times anamorphic lenses. Let's get into it. So let's take a look at the build quality and setup of these lenses. Now the B-Script is massive, it weighs 105 grams, very, very sturdy and big. The Moment lens is much smaller by comparison, only 37.6 grams, absolutely tiny. Now with the B-Script lens, you're gonna need the B-Script Pro Universal Rig, or you're gonna need the B-Script Cage. Both of these have the 37 millimeter mount which you'll need to put on the lens, and it attaches pretty easily, but it can get a little bit fiddly. Now I tried to do this with one hand whilst filming and it became pretty difficult. Even with two hands, it can be a bit finicky, but once it's on, it's on, and it is really, really sturdy, and it's a well-built system. So it locks in and you won't have any problems with this moving around handheld or on a tripod. The Moment lens has what I think is probably the best mounting system in the world right now. It's the bayonet mounting system. So you line up the line on the back of the plate of the lens to that arrow. And once that's done, you've got that part lined up and put it onto the case. The line on the lens then needs to line up with the line on the top of the phone case. You turn it 90 degrees and voila, you have a nice built up set for your filmmaking. And it's really easy, really convenient. I don't think it's much better than that. Now you can see the different color coatings on each of these lenses. So let's take a look at the lens flares. Now the B-Script Pro Anamorphic Lens 1.55 times gives you a really nice and subtle lens flare. As you can see, it gives you a purple bluish hue to those flares and it gives you something really, really high class, high budget feel to your productions and video creating. I really enjoy using these flares. They're very different to anything I've seen before in terms of just how professional and expensive they look as well. We'll get into the price later on, but I have to say I'm a big fan of the lens flares on this B-Script Pro lens, and it really is second to none. Now, as you can see with the Moment flares, they're a completely different look, much, much warm with that orangey, slightly reddish hue to the lens flares. They're a lot less subtle, much more obvious than the B-Script Pro flares. So you can see here, they're much thicker bands of flaring and it gives you a much warmer feel to any shot whatsoever. Even if you shot this at night, it would still make it feel a lot warmer. Now these lens flares are quite different to each other, so I can't pick because I think they both look great, but do let me know in the comments down below what you think is the best flaring. Now let's take a look at the barrel distortion between these two lenses. Now barrel distortion is where you get slightly curved edges. It's also known as a bit of a fisheye effect on your camera once you get that footage back from using anamorphic lens. So let's see how strong that effect is, which we don't particularly want in our anamorphic lenses. Now in terms of barrel distortion, this really surprised me. With B-Script getting a little bit of barrel distortion, as I say, it is a characteristic of an anamorphic lens to have a little bit of that, but you don't wanna get it too much that so looks a bit crazy and fish-eyed. With the Moment lens, it's very, very similar, very comparative. It's hard to distinguish really which one has the strongest barrel distortion effect. So they're both doing a pretty good job of holding that back and giving you a relatively straight image right across the whole of your screen. Now in this shot here, you can see with the line appearing how straight that is. So there is a little bit of barrel distortion here. Nothing too obvious, nothing too distracting. With the moment, it's a tiny bit more perhaps, but even then it's so identical, it's really hard to pick between the two. So in terms of barrel distortion, they're identical. Now a key area in anamorphic lenses to look at is the softness at the edges. Now why is this important? Well, if you're gonna watch this on a bigger screen than a phone, a laptop, a TV, a cinema screen, it's gonna become really obvious. So in this shot, the B-Script looks very sharp. If we zoom in three times, there is some softness there, which is to be expected. And then when we go to Moment, again, it looks pretty good, but as you start to look in the corners, particularly the top right and the bottom left or left-hand side, it is really, really soft. In fact, it is a lot softer, as you can see here, than the B-Script looks really, really blurred and pretty unusable on the sides there. Again, here with the B-Script looking at more of a horizontal field of view with a landscape here, it looks absolutely stunning and the clarity is fantastic. At the edges, there's that softness, although this is showing a bit of depth of field as well, which you naturally get. And with the moment as well, you'll see when we get closer up, it looks similar because of the depth of field, but there is more blur to the edges of the shots. And even in the middle, it does look a little more blurred than the B-Script. So it's an interesting comparison to have there. When it comes to focusing on faces, they're both pretty similar. So for this close up shot here, you can see that it looks really good. With moment, it looks very good. Similarly in the middle as well. So that level of focus is nice and sharp. But again, look into those top left corners and you're seeing a massive difference in softness. In this test, I wanted to see the further you go back, how it keeps the focus. With the B-Script, it keeps the focus central to quite a long distance actually. So I'm going from about three foot all the way to about eight foot back and it looks pretty decent still. With the moment from about three foot away going back, ending up at about eight foot again, 
that focus in a central area does stay nice, but when a softness is so bad on the sides, would you want that with your moment lens? I'm not so sure. I do think a huge part of the difference in softness here is the size of the glass that's used in these lenses. Now, B-Script is considerably bigger and heavier, so you're getting much more glass in that lens, which is probably giving you more quality as well, I suspect. So it's much clearer, much crisper and sharper in the B-Script. Now, when it comes to the weight of these lenses, it's always worth keeping in mind gimbal use and how that will affect it. Now, the moment lens obviously being very light means you can use it with the smartphone gimbals such as the Zion Smooth 5S and hybrid gimbals, the B-Script lens. Of course, the hybrid can handle it and a gimbal for smartphones such as the Smooth 5S can handle up to 300 grams. So you've got room to put either lens on and filters and still have room to spare. Either way, they work with both gimbals. Now, an equally important factor to look at is the cost of both these lenses and setups. Now, with the Moment lens, it costs $149.99 with its current sale price of $109.99. The B-Script lens is $209.99, no current sale price. Now, with the Moment lens, of course, to use it with your phone, you will need a phone case by Moment, and they sell plenty of different models to look at on their website. I'll put links in the description down below. The phone case with a non-sale price is $49.99, so that's something to think about as well. There is no filter mount built into the lens, so you'll need to buy that separately too if you want to use ND filters or CPL filters, and that's $39.99. Now, excusing the dust on this lens, the B-Script lens actually has a filter thread built into the lens, as you can see here, of 62mm, so that's really, really good to have and that'll save you money. If you buy the B-Script cage, that'll be $149.99 to use that with the lens and your phone. The B-Script Pro Universal Rig is $139.99, so it's a lot more than the phone case, but I do think it's a very, very sturdy piece of kit, and it is worth paying that extra money in this situation. And at the moment, if you get the B-Script Universal Rig, you do get a $59.99 microphone free. Now, the B-Script lens itself costs $209.99. If you add that to the B-Script Pro Rig of $139.99, $99, that gives you a grand total of $349.99. So this is definitely a premium product at a premium price. And with the moment lens costing $149.99, that's its non-sale price. And a phone case at $49.99, again at a non-sale price, that total comes to $199.98. But if you consider this doesn't come with a built-in filter mount, it costs with one $239.97. So it's a much bigger difference of $100 from the Moment lens to the B-Script Pro lens. What do you think, guys? Let me know down below. Now, there are areas where this whole comparison video surprised me. I was very surprised that the actual barrel distortion was very minimal in difference between the two lenses. I was expecting Moments to be a little bit stronger given it's a smaller lens and we see those softer edges. And leaning into those softer edges, it is much stronger in the Moment lens. With the B-Script Pro lens, I have to say it is much sharper the whole way across the image. And you can see the build quality from lens to lens. With the lens being much bigger and the glass being much bigger, and it is considerably more expensive as we found out. It just is a much better lens overall. Now, I do like the moment lenses. I actually love the ones that I've used so far, including the telephoto lens, but this anamorphic just doesn't quite come up to scratch, especially with the B-Script. So whilst it's considerably more expensive in the long run, once you get the universal rig or the beast cage, I do think it's worth paying that extra money if you have it for the B-Script setup. You won't be disappointed and it does feel incredibly professional. So in case you haven't guessed it, the winner is the B-Script 1.55 times anamorphic lens. Now, if you wanna see more Cinema P3 Pro camera, the iOS device, which I use for correction on the distortion, then check out my video tutorial on that very app right here, right now. See you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.